I'm going to begin about asking about the Kill Your Friends novel, uh, which I've yeah. just started reading in the waiting room, actually. Oh, which, man. It's, it's good so, so brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You, and just the first page is like, what? Yeah, I know. A bit like the yeah. first scene in the movie. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, when you get involved in projects, do you quite like having a book to work from? Do you, or can it almost be quite overbearing? Because sometimes the character that you're playing has been created for you. Does it take away sometimes from your own input? It's an interesting question. And I have a very uninteresting answer, which is, no, I don't mind. Um, I'm very happy to create a character from nothing and imagine what his front door looks like and what school he went to and or create all this crazy stuff. And I'm also ve really happy to work from something that's already been there um, already. So, yeah, so it's, I wish I could give a, a, a better answer. But just on the subject of the book, you know, I was a huge fan of the book years before I, they made the movie. So, you know, that was just an incredible an incredible draw for me to 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 do it and to go back and read reread the book again. Uh, did you read it in quite a different way, knowing that now? Because did, did you know what part you were going to be playing? Did you know you were definitely going to be in it when you reread the book? Yeah, no. I um, I started reading it when I was doing the audition just to get back into that frame of mind, and then I reread it after I knew who I was going to play. Um, but they kind of ex expanded my character, Danny Rent, from the book. He's not a, a, a big character in the book. There's quite a lot of scenes in the movie that, that are just for the movie. Um, so I don't think I read it too much in a different way. I just love John's writing. He's just such a funny fucker. You know, it's like, he's just, it's incredible. He just writes, you know, if I said that he writes how we think, that would make us all sound like homophobic, sexist, racist. I don't mean that. You know, but he is so brutal and irreverent in his tone and it's just so fun. His, his sense of humour is just like, you know, two mates in a pub. Yeah. Well, I haven't met Rent yet, but I'm on page three, so I, okay. I will get there. Yeah. Um, you've obviously been involved in music yourself before. I was wondering if you've encountered many people like those in the movie, or at least got a sense for this kind of environment. I think for me, the links that I draw are not from the music industry, because the music industry, I was in the underground, you know, I was in the proper like, subcultures, you know the subterranean of the music industry, you know, front lines. So I didn't experience people like that, really. Um, but in this game, producers, actors, managers, agents, lawyers, yes. That's the parallels that I drew into it, you know, from, yeah, from, the, music, uh, from the movie industry and, and television, you know, that was, I think there's quite a lot of parallels. To be honest, I think there's a lot of parallels in all of the entertainment industries when it comes to, you know, horrible relentless ambition and um backstabbing and deceit and debauchery mm. i try and stay clear of all of them <laughs> well i was going to ask i mean because of course nick's taken on a, a producing role in this movie is that mm -hmm. something you ever thought about sort of doing yourself one when day? it's the right project dude definitely yeah. when it's the right project you know i'm a very um passionate person and a little bit uh ocd and a little bit like all consuming so i could definitely get over excited about something and really want to go into it and and all of that. At the moment, no. Or rather, at the moment, all of the projects I've done so far, I haven't felt like I wanted to. I've been, I'm really happy. I like coming in as an outsider, just coming in as an actor, knowing that they've done pre-production without me, just concentrating on the role and just thinking about the lines in front of me. Um, but definitely one day, yeah. When I do the My Little Pony biopic and I'm the lead, <laughs> and um, oh yeah, I'll produce that, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's quite different to My Little Pony, but obviously Deadpool is one you've got. Very similar. <laughs> and Very similar. It's more similar than you yeah. may know. <laughs> obviously synonymous with the X-Men X -Men fran kind of franchise, yeah. which of course Nicholas Holt is a part of. Did you ever yeah, speak beast. too much about that on, uh, well, we on were, set? We were on stage at Comic-Con together um, when Stan Lee came out and said, can all the superheroes come to the stage? And we were all up there together and, you know, taking selfies and all that in Hall H. And, I was telling him about some, we were talking about Beast on, 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 on set and playing with some stuff about Beast with Deadpool, with Ryan. And um, Nick was so funny at Comic-Con because they asked him after the Deadpool panel, they, they said to him, oh, how do you, um, how does it feel coming back to play this iconic character, Beast, you know? Uh, and he was like, I can't think straight because I'm just so overexcited about Deadpool. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so, we kind of, we spoke, I didn't know I, w I was going to do Deadpool. I hadn't been cast for Deadpool when I did Kill Your Friend. So we didn't speak about it on set. But then obviously since then we've spoke about it. And yeah, I can't wait to work with, with Nick again, you know, whether it's in the Marvel Universe or whether we, um, we do it in something else. The amount of, 
crossovers that have been happening lately of people saying that we look like brothers and people last night asking me to sign their Mad Max posters and him going into, what was it, entertainment, with some, some photo booth in a Toronto Film Festival and seeing a photo of him with my name underneath it. And we joke about it so much. Um, but, um, yeah, I can't wait to work with him again, man. He's, a, he's, a, he's top stuff and a great actor. Maybe they thought you were Tom Hardy last night. Maybe. Maybe. All of the, yeah, I mean, they're all compliments. They're both great guys. Better guys than me. And, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll take it. It's better than, um, it could be worse. I was going to say someone else, but I won't. Yeah, it's better than it could be worse. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.